Hello guys, what's going on? My name is Caitlin, your number one girls across YouTuber. As you can probably tell, I'm feeling a little under the weather today. But I'm still going to film a video, so just bear with me. Um, but in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to replace your top string. So a lot of times when playing lacrosse, you, obviously your sticks is going to be used probably every day or every other day. And you're going to get some wear and tear in this top string that holds everything on. And sometimes it even rips. So when it comes time to replace it, a lot of people don't know what to do. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So first you just want to untie the knot on the side. All right, so once you've got the old top string off, you're gonna wanna get a new one. Mine's okay right now, so I'm just gonna leave it. Um, keep it the same, but if it's ripped or it's like really about to rip, you're gonna wanna get a new top string. Probably about <clears throat> one and a half feet long. Okay, so you're gonna put the string in through the top hole on either side, doesn't matter which side you start on. Make sure you tie a knot on one end. And then you're gonna go through this leather Hey, sorry guys, the camera just died, so I gotta charge it now, so the audio probably won't be as good, but anyway. So you, pull, you just pulled it through the leather, like this, and then you're gonna, you can skip this because nothing's attached here. Um, sometimes there aren't extra holes, but usually there are, but you don't have to go through them. Okay, so you're gonna go to the next hole, go through the front of the scoop, pull it around the back, and go through over this slack right here, like that. And then you're gonna go through this runner hole, like so. Pull it tight, you want your top string pretty tight because if it's loose, it just won't be good. So you go through the front of the scoop, pull it back around the slack over it should look something like this I mean all runners are different but if it if you got something looking like that you're probably doing it the right way in the STX launch pocket um, there's a little extra hole right here I don't really know why but um so just go through that as well like that and then you're gonna go through front the scoop hole back around the back and over pull that tight and then go through the final runner hole right here pull it go through the front of the scoop I kind of think I should replace my top string soon but I don't have any more black sidewall okay so then you've got something looking like this if you got something looking like that then you're doing doing it the right way again you just go through the leather you don't need to go through that because there's nothing attached to it and then just go through the top hole on the other side so it's a symmetrical thing if you do like like one here and like like if it's just not in the middle or not centered, um, definitely change that because if your thing's tied, look, if this was tied over here, then when you shoot or pass or whatever, it's gonna go flying over to the side. So you always want it in the middle. If it's not, just change it, follow this video again. Um, and then once you're at the end, just tie a knot. I like to do a simple knot. And then after I've done that, um, you want it tight, so a lot of times you can't get it as tight as you want it. The first knot, so then you just tie another knot until you get it taut. So there you go. That's how you tie, how you replace a woman's lacrosse top string. And then you can just tighten the leathers by pulling this if you want. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. We hit 800 subscribers, that's amazing. Um, I was thinking about getting an Instagram just for Lax Girls World, so 
Right now, you just you guys just follow my personal account. But if you want me to get one for Lax Girls World, comment in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe. Happy laxing.